What's going on fragrance family? This is Tyler Simply Fragrances and today we're talking about fall beast mode fragrances. Fragrances that literally just fill a room, they last all day, the scent trail that you leave behind you, it's intoxicating, everyone can smell you. So if you want to see what fragrance I'm talking about, be sure and keep it right here. All right, guys, welcome back. Like I said, my name is Tyler. This is my channel, Simply Fragrances, where we talk everything fragrance related. We're doing top 10 videos. We're doing seasonal videos. We're doing fragrance rotations, fragrance interviews, everything that encompasses fragrances you can find right here. So if that sounds like something that you want to be a part of, be sure and hit that red subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for the love and support you have shown. So guys, got some fragrances to get into, but I do want to talk to you guys about some really cool and exciting up and coming changes, um, you know, or I guess I should say additions to the uh, the fragrance channel so it's new equipment coming in I've got a, a new mic coming in a mic stand and uh, I'm gonna kind of take a different approach on the review so really excited about that let's go ahead and get into the video all right guys so this list is going to consist of niche and designer so the first one I'm talking about is designer and it is discontinued but you can still readily find it pretty much anywhere like i mean sephora macy's dillard's i still see them very much so in rotation i you know you can get them on discounted sites so i don't have a problem putting this in the list i would however not wait too long i would get a bottle while you can because once they're gone then they are gone but what fragrance am i talking about guys this is one million and this is lucky and this is my favorite of the 1 million line. I mean, Privé is right up there. I'd have to smell it again. I haven't smelled it in a couple of years, so I'd like to do them side by side, but this is definitely my favorite versus, you know, the original or the Elixir is okay. Um, you know, definitely better than, at least my opinion, than the Parfum. I really do enjoy this. I love the, that kind of, just that dark, juicy kind of freshness that you get in the opening, and then you get that warm, kind of woody, ambery, um, almost creamy-like kind of a dry down. This stuff is absolute beast mode on my skin. I'm getting anywhere from 11 to 12 hours, depending on the sprays, depending situation, you know, mileage may vary, but this stuff is absolutely amazing. You do have to like a sweeter style fragrance, but going into the fall weather, you know, cooler weather, you're able to get away with those a lot easier. And so the first one on the list was Paco Rabanne, 1 million lucky. All right, guys, so this next fragrance on the list is, you know, it, it's starting to make its rounds. People are starting to, you know, hear about this house more and more, but it is still, you know, a little bit of a kept secret, if you will. Um, you know, like I said, more people are starting to hear about it, but still, it is not like a mainstream house that you hear about all the time, but they do make amazing, amazing fragrances. What am I talking about, guys? From the house of EBK, this is Ruby and Vanilla Intense, and this stuff is absolutely amazing. Very unisex. It's not going to be super masculine it can lean a little on the feminine side just with the sweetness and the vanilla in here but nonetheless guys it is absolutely a gorgeous fragrance and it is a powerhouse and i say powerhouse guys i mean two to three sprays max and you're filling up a room and you're gonna get at least at least I mean, from my experience 12 to 14 hours guys and that's no joke that's not exaggeration that's every time i wear this i get between 12 to 14 hours and i don't need a lot of juice guys i've had this for a couple years i don't know if you can see the juice level up top i only need two to three sprays tops and i'm good all day now like i said it is a bit on the sweeter side with that vanilla in there so it can lean a bit feminine but there is some citruses in here there's an almond note in here there's some sandalwood for some creamy kind of just i don't want to say aromatic but it does have this kind of just airiness about it but it is a pretty thick fragrance at the same time so it's quite a unique fragrance not too many fragrances smell like this definitely recommend getting your hands or nose on this guys ebk's ruby and vanilla intense had to make this look okay, so the next fragrance on the list is actually a fragrance that i am super excited to get into i haven't been able to wear it too much and for some weird reason this week it's like in the 90s i don't know it's like summer just had one last word to get in before it left completely but uh starting next week we do get into a little bit cooler temperatures especially into the night and i'm really excited to break out Givenchy gentleman reserve Privé. it is a mouthful but man this stuff guys i guarantee you this is going to be a huge hit 
it this fall and into the winter months with a lot of different reviewers and in the frag comment stuff they re they launched this like at the tail end of spring for some reason don't really understand that but nonetheless this is an amazing woody boozy kind of tobacco -y, sweet just ambery type of fragrance and it does have not a barbershop style so don't hear me out on that but there is this kind of gentleman kind of quality behind it it is definitely a masculine fragrance it can you know be unisex but it does lean at least in my opinion on the masculine side uh, my wife has tried to wear it and it just smells too manly on hair but nonetheless guys this is a 10 to 12 hour fragrance easily depending on the sprays that you do i don't think you're going to need more than three or four sprays to last you all day this will fill up a room and the sillage the scent trail that you leave behind you is going to be intoxicating people are going to be smelling you from a mile away guys Givenchy gentleman reserve Privé had to make this list Okay guys, so the next fragrance on the list has been known for being a beast mode fragrance. It came out, uh, I wanna say late in 2021, somewhere in there, maybe early 2021, but it came out last year and it took the fragrance community by storm. People are saying that this is their favorite from the line and even favorite from the house. I can definitely see why guys. This is Dior Sauvage Elixir and this takes that Sauvage DNA and it completely just redoes it in a sense. You do get, just a slight like, like hint of a little bit of Sauvage, but this really is kind of its own fragrance, at least in the Sauvage line. It's got this almost barbershop kind of feel to it. You get this creamy lavender with nutmeg and cinnamon. It, it just kind of does its own thing. It takes that Embroxin and that kind of peppery astringent opening that you get from like the EDT and it takes that fruit, tones it way down and you get more like these woody, sweet, almost gourmand, like with a bit of a barbershop style fragrance. And guys, this is easily a 12 hour fragrance it will fill a room easily three sprays really is all i've ever needed and you know it does the trick all day guys this is an amazing fragrance they just recently came out with the 100 ml this is a 60 ml or 2.5 uh, fluid ounces and it's amazing guys i mean i don't know if you can see the juice on there very just up at the top i wore this several times last year and i, I don't need to spray very much guys because it lasts that long and it projects like a beast so sauvage elixir had to make this list all right guys so the next fragrance i have is no stranger to this channel and as many other reviewers have said this is one of their favorite if not their favorite from the house this is my favorite from the house the, guys this house is just amazing like, i need to get more i have a couple fragrances from this house in a car about to pull the trigger i just you know i want to take my time before i jump into something but this stuff is absolutely amazing guys what am i talking about this is from the house of homage this is jubilation 25 and this, like I said many times, guys, this is meant for royalty. You just smell like a Middle Eastern king or sultan. This is absolutely bananas, guys. You get blueberry, honey, incense, oud, frankincense. There's just everything but the kitchen sink thrown into here. And it smells and it is blended to perfection, guys. It is absolutely amazing. This is easily a 12-hour fragrance. It's not going to be like a super room filler. It can be, don't get me wrong. If you do five, six sprays, yes, it can fill a room. But what's great about this is three to four sprays is about the sweet spot, at least on my skin. And I get that 12-hour mark, but it's not going to be just pumping and filling up a room to where you're that obnoxious guy but it will make its presence known and people are going to smell you in the central that you leave behind you man it is going to be amazing this stuff is absolutely gorgeous guys if you haven't got your nose on this definitely recommend getting a sample but amouage jubilation 25 had to be on this list all right guys so the next fragrance on the list this comes from the house of parfums de marley and this is i I don't know if it's my all-time favorite leather fragrance anymore. There is the uh, Tom Ford Ombre Leather Parfum, and I'm, they're in a battle like between each other, so you probably know what I'm talking about, but this one still holds just a special place in my heart, as you can see from the bottle. This is Godolphin, and this is an amazing, amazing leather-based fragrance. Like I said, I don't know if it's my favorite anymore. It's tied with Tom Ford's Ombre Leather Parfum. They're just both so amazing. This one is a bit lighter, I guess you could say. Um, you know, it's gonna project a little bit more because the Parfum from Tom Ford is gonna sit a little bit closer to the skin, but I do feel that one's a little bit smoother. And I don't know, they're just, they go back and forth. But guys, if you want an amazing leather-based fragrance, 
this is it guys i like this better than tuscan leather i like this better than almost any other leather fragrance that i've ever smelled guys this does have beast mode performance the scent trail that you leave behind you is absolutely amazing it is a room filler so easy on the trigger but for those cooler fall and even into the winter nights this is going to be an amazing fragrance especially for a dressed up occasion i love wearing a leather fragrance for like a date night or something like that if you guys want a great leather fragrance look no further than parfums to marley's godolphin all right, guys, so we are down to the last fragrance. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate that. And, you know, I wanted to give you guys a good kind of smorgasbord of, you know, niche designer, high-end designer, you know, everything kind of in between. And with the last fragrance, I wanted to save it for last because as of right now, at the recording of this video, and just, you know, my current mood, just what I'm going through, just, you know, it, it could change tomorrow it could change next week but as of right now this is my favorite fragrance in my collection you know for a while it was apex from rosha you know before that it was you know uh, uh gravitas pour um and you know it just it evolves it adapts it changes you know i don't know if i could ever have like a 100 percent. this will always be my favorite fragrance because we always smell something new we're always you know changing personalities moods you know all that differs but all that to say guys ganymede from Marc Antoine Barnois. Pardon me if I butchered the name. This is my favorite fragrance in my collection as of right now at the recording of this video. I love it, guys. It is so unique. It is, it's captivating. It's mysterious. It is, it's just everything that I want in a fragrance right now. It is, it's got this citrus up top with like this mandarin orange. It doesn't say green apple, but I do get this green apple kind of vibe. It's got this minerally kind of earthy dusty leather type of vibe to it it is it's so unique guys it is perfuming at its finest at least in my opinion and i absolutely love it guys super unisex does lean a little bit on the masculine side in my opinion but it is a beast mode when it comes to longevity and performance guys the scent trail that you leave behind you it literally stretches a mile long it is intoxicating guys it will last at least in my opinion and at least off of my experience i'll say that at least 14 hours guys i've wore this you know going into you know waking up on my day off of work spraying at nine o'clock in the morning coming back you know nine o'clock at night i'm still getting wafts of it you know into the next morning when i wake up before i shower i can still get you know hints of this stuff it is absolutely phenomenal guys if you want something unique that doesn't smell like anything else it's going to be just a step above the rest and it just smells like class and sophistication guys ganymede from Marc Antoine Bonnois. You guys need to get your notes on it. Get your sample at least. It is phenomenal. And like I said, right now it is my favorite fragrance in my collection. That could change tomorrow. It could change next week. Who knows? It, like I said, we're always changing. We're always adapting. We're always evolving, you know, as a person. But right now, Ganymede takes the reins for my favorite fragrance, guys. It is absolutely amazing. Get your nose on it. Had to make this list. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. So comment down below what you thought of the list. What are some of your favorite Beast Mode fall fragrances? Looking forward to seeing you guys in the comment section. I'm also going to catch you on the next video. And remember, if you love it, wear it.